Welcome to another day with Jesus. A 7 minute inspirational and encouraging daily podcast by Pastor Pritchie. As you listen to today's teaching, may it help you grow closer to Jesus. Good morning and greetings to you in Jesus precious name. Welcome to this beautiful new day that the Lord has blessed us with. Today, God is giving us wisdom and understanding beyond our wildest dreams. What we need to navigate through the difficult seasons of our life is divine wisdom, divine understanding, divine sense, not just common sense. We may all have common sense in different levels and measures. but what we need today is divine sense sense that comes from understanding god's heart for our lives see when we see things from god's perspective when we see beyond what we can see now our choices our decisions the words that we speak the way that we will react to a problem everything will begin to change if you will just rewind your life back to a couple of decades and if you check your heart to see if you will react the same way knowing that god brought you here knowing how god fought for you knowing how god has taken care of you now will you react the same way to that tiny person uh, to that tiny situation to that tiny issue knowing the greatness that god has called you for will you still avenge yourself fight back and hurt those people and good sense will tell you wow i shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have put my hands into those things because what God had planned for me was so much more big. And today the Lord is giving you that kind of sense and grace. Let me give you the example of David. One day David decided to take things in his own hands. There was a man that he protected and he provided for and he made sure that everything in his house is uh, you know covered. and in exchange david expected them to provide for the needs of him and his men i'm talking about nabal and his family and the bible says nabal he was a very proud and arrogant man and he refused to help david and david he was a man who always used to trust in god always used to put his hope in god always used to expect god to be the one to promote him bless him take care of him but in this particular incident he chose to put his trust in the provision that his strength and his protection can bring him because he had given protection to this family he expected this family to bring back provisions and help him and his men now in this particular incident he put his trust in his own ability and in his own strength and guess what happened this man failed him This man said I don't want anything to do with you David. And David was furious. He wanted to go and commit a murder. He wanted to go and take vengeance. Let me read out to you what was his final response on that day. This is 1 Samuel chapter 25 and verse 33. He is saying this, "Thank God for your good sense. Bless you for keeping me from committing a murder." and from carrying out vengeance with my own hands so this is david he is speaking to abigail so in all of this david was seeing from the short sighted perspective that he could see nabal was seeing a short sighted picture but there was one woman her name was abigail who saw beyond the immediate circumstances she saw 10 years 20 years from that day and she came and brought an advice to David and she said don't do this because this is not something you need to fight for god will fight for your servant but you don't have to fight for your own self she brought an advice that brought sense to David that brought wisdom into David's heart and mind and because of which David said thank god for your good sense david was extremely happy that good sense prevailed on that day and this season we need to pray and we need to thank god for the good sense that he has already given us we need to thank god for the abigails in our life 
we need to thank god for those people that bring the heart of god when we can only see the immediate circumstances and the immediate surroundings and the immediate people that have hurt us and the immediate people that are not respecting us or not responding to us thank god for the abigails that bring us a perspective that is beyond what we can see right now and you need to thank god for the good sense that he is giving you in this season to not fight for yourself to not try to take things in your own hands if you truly believe that your life is in god's hands if you truly believe that he has the authority to shift change bless direct redirect realign every aspect of your life then you have to learn to let him do it you have to trust him to be the author and the perfecter of everything in your life you need to allow the lord to fight for you see i'll tell you what you need to do you need to fight for god's house you need to fight for god's kingdom when it comes to a philistine giant that comes to fight the nation of israel david you don't have to show any mercy you can go ahead and kill that giant but when somebody fights you you don't have to fight them when somebody doesn't take care of you you don't have to make them your enemy because those who try to fight you they become god's enemies and those who try to fight god's church god's kingdom god's people they have to now become your enemy today if we will have that exchange in our hearts where we say i'm not going to allow these temporary situations to rattle me i'm not going to get swayed away and swept away in these uh, small tiny situations i'm not going to react to this small person i will let god fight for me in these situations and i will choose to let good sense prevail in my heart i will not avenge myself i will not go out and commit a murder for my own self but if it's for god's house i will go to whatever extent required to put my life on the line if needed to make sure that i fight that battle now that is wisdom that is divine sense that god wants to give us this season i pray that you and i we will receive it we will walk in it and we will exercise it in each and every one of our relationships decisions and choices that we make today thank you for tuning in have a good and a blessed day ahead we hope you are encouraged by today's podcast you can connect with us at pastorpriji.com for any queries or to receive help in any specific area may your day be filled with jesus today